Hi, welcome to my channel Rat Horse Academy. Today I am going to start my first tutorial on animation in Flash. We will do something like this. Now in this tutorial we will learn to make the sea waves and because it is a complicated one it's a long one so i have divided it into three parts first part first tutorial will be about how we animate the sea waves second part we are going to change the color of the sky and we'll also sun do that uh, the sun is going down into the sea and the third one will be how this boat is moving and how the color is changing, how its size is also changing as you are just watching. So let's get started with the first thing that is to make the sea waves, right? For that, I need a new document. Now for making the uh, waves, I need my rectangle. So take the rectangle and make sure that the outline is not there. I don't want any outline and select the color for your sea waves. Draw your rectangle. After that, click on your selection tool. Hold down your control key and make a zigzag path like this. Now you must be saying that these waves are really very sharp so you have to make them smoother again with the help of the selection tool and without holding your control key you can make them smoother like this. Make some of the waves bigger. Some smaller. Once you have done it, right click on it and convert it into a symbol. Name it as wave. Double click to enter the symbol. Insert a keyframe at 40th frame. Select any frame in between and select shape tween prop property windows. After that, I need to add some shape hints. So select your first frame. And for adding the shape hint, the shortcut key is Ctrl Shift H. I'm going to add five shape hints. After adding them in the first frame, I need to adjust their position in the last keyframe. So select the last keyframe and adjust them one by one. As you will move them to their respective position, they will change their color from red to green. Now just test this one. So this is moving like this. If you want to make some changes, just see in the position of E here. Let's see what change are there. Changes are there, yes, okay. I want to add one more shape hint, so control shift touch again. And let me move this here. Now adjust the position of this again. Here. And again test this one. I think it's perfect. Now I need to give more depth to my wave so what I am going to do I am going to create another copy with a lighter shade which will give a depth to my wave. So for that create a new layer, select all the frames, hold on your alt key and shift it like this. 
now lock and hide it change the color of this wave so click on the first frame and uh, over here take a lighter shade same you have to do in the last key frame as well okay now i need to change the height also so for that again click on your selection tool and change the height This is what I have done in the last keyframe. The same you have to do in the first keyframe. So just copy this and paste it. Done. Now let me check the position. So let's test this now going like this okay now let me also check the position of the shape frames go to view and select this option and one by one on each layer i'm going to check this is the position of the shape frames on this first frame and and last frame perfect on the first layer let me check it on the second layer last key frame and first key frame it's perfect so now this is what I have done now. I need to create three to move copies. So double click and reduce the work area to 50%. Go C and V to make the copies. And just shift them, shift them one by one. Control V. That I need to reduce the opacity of each and every wave. Why? Because the wave which is farthest is less visible as compared to the wave which is nearest to the shore or nearest to sea. Okay, so uh, first select your last wave and color alpha and reduce the opacity to maybe 45. Select this one. And again select alpha now this time I have to increase the opacity so let's take this 55 percent this one increase again 70 percent and this is going to be the maximum let it be 85 or 86 percent or 18, maybe 89 percent okay now one more thing I'm going to do with these waves is I'm going to start each wave at different frames so their shape is going to be different at different frames so let me start this at first frame this I'm going to start at fifth frame this one at 11th and this one at 20th frame okay now adjust them you can see that is same but the thing is that they are going to have started at the different frames now let me adjust them one by one now for testing them Insert a keyframe and control it on. So this is how it is looking. Okay. Now again I need to you can adjust the position like this. With the help of arrow keys you can move them up and down. And again and control So this is done for the first part now for the second part come back again if you have any problem or any doubt you can just write it in my comment box I will solve them okay 
and for the second one where I'm going to make the sky where the sky is going to change the color during sunset and the sun is setting down you need to watch my second tutorial so bye for now and try this any problem in comment please uh, go for my comment box and subscribe my channel click on the bell icon so that you get the latest updation about this thank you and have a nice day bye